Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for, marketing manager. So, let's get started. Question number 1, what are the 4 P's of marketing? The answer is, the 4 P's of marketing are product, pricing, location, and promotion. These are the essential components that must be brought together in order to properly cultivate and promote a brand's unique value and make it stand out from the crowd. Question number two, what is the difference between marketing and selling? The answer is, the term selling refers to the process of making things and then selling them to buyers. Whereas, marketing is the process of identifying and fulfilling the customer's needs. Selling is centered on the seller's wants and requirements. Whereas, marketing is focused on the consumer's wants and needs. Question number three, what is the product life cycle? The answer is, the term product life cycle refers to the time between when a product is launched to the market and when it is taken off the shelves. A product's life cycle is divided into four stages, introduction, growth, maturity, and decline. Question number four, what are the keys to marketing success? The answer is, the keys to marketing success are, budgeting, targeting, analyzing the competition, working your customer base, development of objectives, Question number 5, explain the levels of market segmentation. The answer is, the four bases of market segmentation are. First, demographic segmentation. Second, psychographic segmentation. Third, behavioral segmentation. Fourth, geographic segmentation. Question number 6, explain diversity marketing. The answer is. This style of marketing focuses on developing efficient communication strategies and interacting with each of the market's various groupings. Diversity marketing understands the relevance of cultural programming and addresses the consumers accordingly because different consumer groups have varied experiences in different cultural and social circumstances. Different cultural programs, tastes, values, expectations, beliefs, modes of contact, modes of entertainment, and lifestyle choices of these groups differ from those of others necessitating the development of customized marketing techniques. Question number 7, define personal selling. The answer is, personal selling, often known as face-to-face -face selling, is when a salesperson attempts to persuade a consumer to purchase a product. It's a sales technique in which a salesperson uses his or her skills and abilities to try to close a deal. Question number 8, explain brand equity management system. The answer is, Brand equity is defined, and a complete framework for understanding and influencing customer behavior is given, incorporating contemporary theoretical breakthroughs and managerial techniques. This framework explains the causes and outcomes of brand equity, as well as tactical instructions for building, measuring, and managing brand equity, as detailed in other sections of the paper. Question number 9, what is a brand audit? The answer is, a brand audit is a checkup that assesses your brand's market position, strengths and shortcomings, and ways to improve it. Three areas should be examined during a brand audit. Internal branding encompasses your company's brand values, mission, and culture. Question number 10. Mention the various components of marketing management? The answer is, we can categorize marketing management components as. The mission and objectives of the organization are found at the corporate level. Non-marketing and marketing institutions are included at this functional level. Level of marketing. Situation analysis, objectives, strategy, implementation, budget, and evaluation are all included. Product, distribution, promotion, and price make up the marketing mix. Question number 11. What were the different marketing approaches previously? The answer is. Previously, three marketing strategies were used. First, production orientation. A company that focuses on production specializes in producing the majority of the services and goods it offers without regard for quality. Second, product orientation. A company that focuses on product orientation is primarily concerned with product quality. Third, selling orientation. A sales orientation organization focuses primarily on selling or marketing a specific product, rather than finding new consumer desires. Question number 12. Explain service marketing. The answer is, the marketing of services is referred to as service marketing. It's not the same with tangible goods. When comparing services to goods, not all products are entirely goods or services. Question number 13. What are the current marketing methodologies? 
The answer is. There are four types of marketing tactics now being used. First, customer pleasure is the primary focus of relationship marketing. The relationship between suppliers and customers is given top priority. Second, business marketing is focused on industrial commodities. Third, promotion, advertising, and other marketing strategies are employed. Fourth, social marketing is a type of marketing that focuses on promoting a product using social media, such as Facebook and Twitter. Question number 14. What is the purpose of an international marketing strategy? The answer is. It entails the company making many marketing decisions across multiple countries. There are numerous reasons to enter an international market, the most important of which is the size and diversification of the industry. There are also other reasons to shun overseas markets, including excessive red tape, trade obstacles, and transportation challenges. Exporting, licensing, joint ventures, direct investment, U.S. commercial centers, trade intermediaries, and alliances are the steps of becoming worldwide. Question number 15. What is marketing communication? The answer is. The efforts undertaken by the seller to deliver his message to his buyers and have them accepted in the retrievable form are known as marketing communication. Persuasion is the most important aspect of the communication process. It is entirely focused on achieving a specific goal. It's not a haphazard endeavor. Each of its tools has its own set of complexities and opportunities, justifying management expertise. Question number 16. What are the many kinds of market research? The answer is, there are several types of marketing research. Field research. It is a type of research that is conducted for a specific objective. Desk research. It is usually done for one purpose at first, but it is progressively used to promote another goal. Exploratory research. It is a type of research that looks into a hypothesis. Predictive research. This form of study aims to foresee any future events. Conclusive research. It is conducted in order to reach a conclusion on a research procedure. Question number 17. What is real-time marketing? The answer is. Real-time marketing is described as marketing to a customer at a certain time and location. It's the type of marketing that looks for the best deal for a specific customer. Customer relationship management solutions in major corporations have resulted in real-time marketing. Real-time marketing has evolved into a major solution for vendors and mature customers. Real-time marketing products had to be rebranded to reflect a more comprehensive understanding of corporate interaction decision management. Question number 18. What is interruption marketing? The answer is. Interruption marketing is defined as the use of advertising, public relations, and sales to promote a product. It is not always appropriate and varies from company to firm. Because interruption marketing is primarily focused on sales, it is the greatest option for a company with limited advertising budgets and a desire for quick results. However, it is not always regarded as a successful marketing strategy. Question number 19. Explain the marketing mix model. The answer is. Marketing mix models calculate the sales impact of various marketing activities and estimate their efficacy and ROI. Optimization can help you chart a course for the future by demonstrating how to manage marketing strategies, budgets, channels, and pricing methods to get the most out of your marketing dollars. Marketing mix modeling assists brand managers in determining the best mix of advertising media and making better business decisions in terms of marketing budget allocation and media planning. Question number 20. What is integrated marketing communications? The answer is. Integrated marketing communications is the process of sending a consistent message to customers across several channels to increase their interest in a company's products and services. Question number 21. What is organizational buying? The answer is. The process by which formal organizations determine the need for acquired items and services, as well as discover, assess, and select among alternative brands and suppliers, is known as organization buying. Products ranging from very complicated machinery to minor components are purchased by businesses. Question number 22. What is the segmented market? The answer is. Segmenting the market entails segmenting customers and businesses so that each segment's demands may be identified and met appropriately. The benefit is that the product does not have to be sold to all sectors of the market. Instead, a specific section can be targeted based on their needs. Question number 23. What do you mean by channels of distribution? The answer is people, institutions, merchants, and government officials involved in the distribution of products and services are referred to as channels of distribution. 
The term channels of distribution refers to a group of companies and persons who assume ownership, or aid in the transfer of title, to certain commodities or services as they go from producers to consumers. Distribution channels smooth the flow of products by providing utilities of possession, location, and time. They make it easier for products to move by removing obstacles. Question number 24. What role does branding play in product differentiation? The answer is. Branding aids in the differentiation of a company's products from those of its competitors. This aids the company in securing and controlling the market for its goods. It would be extremely difficult for marketers to distinguish their products from competitors if they were marketed under generic labels. As a result, most marketers give their product a name, which aids in recognizing and distinguishing their products from those of their competitors. Branding is the process of giving a product a name, a sign, a symbol, or other identifiers. Question number 25. What is M-Commerce? The answer is. M-Commerce referred to as mobile commerce. M-Commerce is the use of wireless handheld devices such as cell phones and tablets to conduct online commercial transactions such as product purchase and sale, online banking, and bill payment. The use of mobile commerce is on the rise. Question number 26. What is false advertising? The answer is. False advertising is when a firm or a brand makes false assertions to market items and boost profit margins. Deception is used in such adverts to influence consumers. Consumers' right to know is entirely violated by such commercials, which are illegal in several nations. Still, finding legal ways to deceive people has become a trend. Question number 27. Mention the various steps of a new product development process? The answer is, some of the steps that are taken. Inventing fresh product concepts. Go over your options. Investigate and evaluate. Development of technical and marketing aspects. Production planning. Marketing strategy. Marketing research. Commercialization. Question number 28. What is test marketing? The answer is. In a marketing plan, test marketing is used to test the many variables, such as the elements of the product. It forecasts the introduction of the entire marketing program albeit only on a restricted scale. In a nutshell, it is the final phase before the product is made available to the public. Question number 29. What are various kind of influences which affects consumer behavior? The answer is. There are a variety of influences, including. Market options, demographics, and complexity are all situational influences. Cultural and social class reference groups are examples of external influences. Internal processes and factors motivation, learning or socialization, personality, attitudes, and lifestyle are all psychological characteristics. Recognize needs, search for information, evaluate alternatives, make a purchase, and follow up on the transaction. Question number 30. What are the two major segmentation strategies followed by the marketing organizations? The answer is. The two tactics that were used. First, concentration approach. This type of segmentation strategy focuses on a specific market segment and sets prices and other parameters accordingly. Mercedes-Benz, for example, has opted to focus on the luxury part of the automobile industry. Second, multi-segmentation approach. This type of segmentation strategy focuses on multiple market segments. They create various marketing campaigns for different market sectors. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.